Yo, yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to Trippy Commentaries. Thanks for joining me here for the live stream. I know a lot of you guys are out of school right now and on vacation, so I definitely wanted to come through for you guys with some extra live streams. I hope you're having a good de uh, December so far. I was going to say November. Definitely December. <laughs> Hopefully you're all doing good this evening. We're here in Grand Theft Auto V. Shout out to Trippy Topcat. Oj Toyab. Hopefully I got that right. Heloff Lowlife. Herp Derp. Damn, some hard ones to pronounce this evening. We're here in Grand Theft Auto V, guys. I actually have a pretty cool live stream for you guys. Hopefully you're all doing well. Just waiting for a couple people to join up. Lord Vertex HD. Nice. I like that one. Trippy Underground joining up. Mike Hammy. Hold on one second, guys. Just doing some final preparations for the stream. We're here at Paula Springs, by the way, guys. Going to be taking a look at the aerial tramway. And a couple things to do with it. Definitely going to be a fun live stream. Paul Curry joining up. Tyson Phillips. Hella low life. Hella low low life. I got it. All right. <laughs> Once again, thanks for joining up, guys. And a lot of you are joining just now. Just starting the live stream. About to start up soon. Just doing the final preparations. Once again, guys, YouTube used to let me edit off the beginning, but for some reason, it is not letting me do that. So that kind of sucks. So you kind of have to put up with it. Just keep in mind, in the comment section and in the description, I'll put a direct link to when the live stream begins. I apologize. Hopefully you guys... Hope you know, who are true fans kind of understand. YouTube just took that feature away from me. What the hell? Bryce Vetter joined up. Legendary Mike. Hope you guys are all doing good. ready to rock and roll guys thanks again for joining up i know a bunch of you are getting in here my name is mittens join up i actually want to make mittens a uh, moderator mittens don't uh you know don't feel you know pressured to like do anything crazy as a moderator i just want you know obviously i just wanted your messages to stand out this live stream i actually wanted to respond to mittens so, yeah, it's going to be a good one. Shout out to Earn Dabisco. What? Appreciate the, the comment there. Once again, I know it's annoying, guys. I normally start up the live stream. I have to set up a you know, couple last-second things, as you guys probably know. And for some reason, now I cannot edit it off. That's why I wanted to at least be here, you know, to talk to you guys a little bit, you know. PZ82. What's going on? I think snow should be starting up very soon, probably either tomorrow or Friday, if not Saturday. You know, one of the next three days. I'm guessing maybe tomorrow, guys. Wait, I thought I set you as moderator. Uh-oh. I probably set maybe someone random as moderator. Let me check that now. What the hell? weird it's not let it's not working dude I'm clicking on it right now you can probably hear the mouse it is not working once again YouTube is broken <laughs> yeah I don't know whatever who knows hope you guys are all having a good December so far once again, I know a lot of you guys are on vacation, out of school. Definitely want to come through with some epic live streams for you guys. And really, you know, just come on. Chill live streams. Hang out. Check out some pretty crazy things this time. Courtesy of Mittens, possibly. I'll explain here in a second. Snow in Florida? Yeah, right. Hmm. 
Not working. Oh well. Anyways, guys, really appreciate you all joining up. Trippy Raphael, is that right? Any thoughts on the Trufad Nero? It's linked to the Emperor, the Sea of Despair. Hmm. No, no, no thoughts on that one. I'd have to hit me up on Twitter. You know, kind of have to discuss that one. That sounds interesting, though. Once again, guys, thanks again for joining up. Wanted to have a few extra live streams for you guys. Uh, I do have some really cool ones planned, including tonight. I think we're going to have a pretty cool live stream. I guess we'll find out, right, guys? Shout out to Seth Stafford, Deadly Neurotoxin, Logic456, and we got Trippy Top Cat. What's going on? Trippy Top Cat saying, LOL, YouTube, sort your shit out. Man, you are so right. I can't even set people as moderators. I literally just tried to set a couple people as moderators. And it's like, no moderator for you. You guys ready to start up the live stream officially? Rather than just, you know, the casual style, which we got right now. The casual few of us that are here in the live stream right now. Just a little bit. But yeah, let's kick into it, guys. Like I said, this is a bit of a response live stream. It's kind of a response video to Mittens. You know, if you guys haven't checked out his channel, I highly recommend it. He's got some pretty cool videos over there, especially when it comes to the Chiliad Mystery. And with us starting off right now, if you guys have been a fan of his, you might know exactly some of the things that we're going to check out here in the live stream. Thanks for joining up, guys. Let's start it up. <laughs> yeah. Bunch of people join up. Trippy Texan. Appreciate all of you guys. Thanks again for joining up here, Trippy Commentaries, guys. I hope you're having a great December. Make sure to stay tuned. I'll definitely have some extra live streams for you guys. I know a bunch of you are, you know, on vacation, having a good time, whatever. Maybe not in school for once. So I definitely will throw some extra live streams, some special events. So that way you guys will have plenty to do here in a very trippy December. Shout out to My Name is Mittens. Mittens here, one of the big members of the Chiliad Mystery community. This is going to be a response live stream. As if you guys have checked out his channel, you might have seen his episode where he looked at the Paula Springs Aerial Tramway. There's a couple things that really stand out. And then we do have an experiment that we'll, we will uh, attempt here at this tramway. So thanks again for joining up. Special shout out to Super Badass Trippy Vice City. What? Link his channel. All you have to do is click on his name. He is in the chat. I tried to make him moderator, but it wasn't working for some reason. So the first thing we are going to look at here at the tramway, there's a couple things you might be thinking of. Obviously, it goes right up that huge wall of Mount Chiliad right there. And as you climb up the mountain in the gondola, it shows off some hidden symbols that certainly refer to the Chiliad mystery. So maybe this place is a little bit more relevant than we think. First of all, you can see on Trevor's hat right now. Let me switch up the view here. There we go, a little bit closer. It says meteorite. Well, this could be the location of an actual crater. Guys, once again, if you check out Mitten's video, I'll have a link in the description to the exact video after the stream for those of you who haven't seen it. But he looks at this in depth. And I think we have something massive here, guys. If you look at this right here, you can see that this looks to be a crater. Definitely let us know what you think. Of course, Mittens puts out the question to everybody. You know, what do you think? We haven't heard too many people talking about this and a couple other things that we're going to look at here in tonight's live stream. For all of you just joining up, definitely get comfortable. We have some pretty trippy things to check out tonight. Ben Johnson, what's going on? Trippy Bacon? Oh, hell yeah. Crit One Kill, good to see you again. We had the Red Dead Redemption live stream playthrough earlier today, so I see a couple of you guys who are chilling for that. Great to see all of you guys. Jordan Glenn or Jordan Gren. Good to see all of you. So when it comes to this thing right here, guys, is this the one crater here 
in Grand Theft Auto 5. Now, in that video, Mittens does point out a couple things that maybe show off that it's not, you know, maybe not exactly a crater, but to me, you know, it certainly has that look, for sure, especially because even on this end right here, seems like it has that contact point you know like maybe it came right through there now why would there be a crater right here of all locations now you got the perfect view of Chiliad from here that's for damn sure so that makes me think that with Chiliad being a volcano maybe you have some of the rocks that you know that came out that erupted maybe this is where one landed but if that's the case, why isn't there more craters like this one here? It's definitely strange. Another thing to point out, guys, is you have the UFO right about here. So that's not too far, considering how big the map is. Shout out to Board Animations. <laughs> yes, he said he's been playing this game forever and hasn't seen a lot of the stuff that we point out. I know, that's, you know, that's the beauty of it all. Keep in mind, a lot of the stuff that I point out, pretty much, you know, everything that I point out, is stuff that I haven't seen. And you guys know that I've looked around, so I think this is definitely a huge, you know, thing here in the game with this, uh, you know, you have this big crater. This is the only one that I've seen. So maybe it is relevant, especially the fact that it's here in the Chiliad area. As Minton said, you know, let us know what you guys think. Maybe this is serious. There are a couple other things here in the, you know, this common location that maybe point out that it's relevant. And by relevant, you know, maybe it's it's an Easter egg of some sort. There's a huge Chiliad mystery that goes unsolved. It could have something to do with that. You never know. Clearly, it's definitely something. In fact, it definitely could be a meteor. That could, you know, once again, you got Trevor's hat here saying meteorite now that I think that's actually a link to candy bars here in the game something like that like a chocolate company but we know where we're at the infamous Mount Chiliad no fires no vehicles no vehicles alright I guess dirt bikes don't really count so we're waiting for the gondola here. One thing that Mittens pointed out that I thought was pretty cool is that the gondolas are not in Grand Theft Auto Online. They were for a very short period of, period of time, but then they took them out. So does that mean they're, you know, too much work for nothing? Nobody's really going to use them, so you might as well take it out. I don't know, we will try out something interesting with the gondola though. Is it operational at night? <laughs> Dante Stacy joining up Tyson Phillips. Trippy Stance. What's going on, Trippy Stance? Mystery Easter eggs by watching Trippy and the crew. I yeah, definitely appreciate that. That's the thing. If you watch some of the earlier episodes at Trippy Commentaries, You'll see that, like, I'm pretty much, you know, I'm devoted to showing off all of the Easter eggs. But that turned into the Chiliad mystery because that was something I showed off early on. And we still have yet to solve it. So it's like, what the hell? Never expected that it would go this long. Going up, please. So we're just going to take the ride up the mountain here before we do a couple other things, guys. UFO crash site, perhaps, might have something to do with that. Trippy bacon, I mean, you have the pieces that scattered everywhere. Definitely could have something to do with that. Jordan Gren saying, can we look online in the game about a crater hitting? You mean like, yeah, a meteor creating the crater? Yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah, also he mentioned a landslide scenario. That's another thing. Mountains are notorious for landslides. Where I'm at in Florida, you don't have to deal with too many of those. But, of course, somewhere in Cali, somewhere at the real life Mount Chiliad, it's probably every day. You got rocks falling down. Shout out to Evan Garza. Oh, Tommy Versetti joining up? Tommy, 
Trippy, you should snoop around the cave near Sandy Shores airfield under the lot with the big boat. Apparently one of the telescopes right besides the house has alien coating. I've heard about that, Tommy Versetti. We'll go over there. Hopefully I don't forget, but yeah, we'll definitely go over there. Definitely chilling, guys. You know how it is. Trippy December. I know it's probably freezing. Gotta get your mittens wherever you guys are. Stay warm. Trevor Phillips join up. Okay, so we got Tommy Versetti. We got Trevor Phillips. Damn. Johnny Clevitz is notorious for stopping by the trippy live streams. It, it's pretty crazy. We got the whole cast of characters here. Trippy Raphael sent you a couple pictures. Hmm. Interesting. I'll check those out. Grandbox the Great joining up. So, going up the mountain here, the one thing that's really key that you'll notice is the hidden symbol towards the end of the ride. So, it's kind of key to notice how Rockstar doesn't show it off until the very end. Also, if you come at nighttime, it's extremely hard to make out. But there it is. You see how they did the camera angle there. They wanted you to barely see that. That's almost the teaser to tell you that there's others hidden around the mountain. Shout out to Spike Ninja. Alright, so here we are. The top of the volcano. Anything changed with the mural at all? No? Can we phase through the wall? Nothing going on here, as usual. Check out the moon though, guys. That's pretty sweet. Quite epic here at the tallest point, at least on land, here in the game. So here's what we're going to try to do. And I don't know if this is going to work. We're probably going to have to get a chopper for this, but while we're up here, we might as well give it a try. You have this ramp right here. The one thing that this ramp is really perfect for, and it has to be its really sole intention, is a ramp for the parachute. So what we're going to try to do is land on the gondola hut. Here we go. Okay, so far so good, guys. There's something very interesting that happens when we land on the gondola. Or, yeah, on the gondola itself, not the hut. <laughs> But there's, fair, there's definitely something inter interesting that happens when we land on there. So We'll see if we can pull it off. We will definitely pull it off, but maybe not on the first time. Okay, we need to get some speed. Shout out to James Reynolds. What's going on, James? Whoa. Oh, no. Oh. Whoa. This is like James Bond stuff right here. Oh, this is going to be terrifying. And we'll pause it. No need for the inevitable to happen there. Let's just try it again here. Let's grab the chopper. Trippy Bacon, who's enjoying the new import and export vehicles for GTA 5 Online? I know I am. I'll jump on there, Trippy Bacon. I haven't got to play any online yet with the new expansion. I downloaded it, of course, but I haven't played it yet. Don't have too much money. I know I actually have a decent amount of money, but not probably not nearly enough. My name is Mitten saying, took me so many attempts to do this in my video. When I was just messing around, I did it the first try. Of course, right? We'll see. I got to do it live. A couple people watching, so hopefully we can pull it off. Euroner saying, I think instead of the ramp, it's an old mine shaft staircase. Interesting. So, for all of you guys just joining up, this is a response to my name is Mittens video. Our boy Mittens is right here on YouTube. I'll have a link in the description to not only his channel. Whoa, aggressive copper there. But also the video in question. First of all, he shows off seemingly the only crater in the game. So he showed that off. I kind of agree. You know, he, he shows off both sides of the coin. Is it a crater? Is it not a crater? It's really a great question for the community. 
considering the look of it, it doesn't just look like, you know, something that's out of nowhere. It looks like something intentional. It could be a simple crater Easter egg, maybe pointing towards something else. Maybe it's uh, a sinkhole. I don't know. But that's definitely the first question. The second part deals with the gondola hut and the gondola itself. So first we need the chopper. And we're going to try to land on the gondola. Hopefully we can pull it off. Mittens saying there is a way to jump onto it when it leaves the station. Interesting. We'll try it out with the, uh, with the chopper first. We should be able to get it. The only problem with using the chopper is it's going to give us some stars, you know, at least one star for, you know, just landing on it and crashing the chopper. And we want to get stars for another reason, so that's kind of an issue, but not really. Whatever. Shout out to Mahoos. Trippy Stan saying, get to the chopper. Free five, Bofum. <laughs> What's going on? Nice. Trippy Bacon saying the cars are insane. Great for stunts. Really looking forward to trying it out. I mean, the snow is about to come down, so that's the time to try out some new stuff. All right, brother, here we are. Shout out to I am Sly Cooper joining up. All right, we got the chopper now. You'd think that maybe. No, that's not going to work. I was going to say, maybe if we crash the helicopter in the water, then we won't get any stars, but we're going to be too far away. Shout out to Severe Gaming, saying this is his first live stream. Welcome to the party. Really appreciate it. Let me know if you guys have any theories. I mean, you can kind of tell this is really a chill GTA 5 live stream. Anything goes, guys. Anything goes. Trippy Fruit Loops joining up. Oh, damn. Nice. <laughs> A lot of you guys have to get to the chopper. Dante Stacy. Hey, my day's been pretty good. I was chilling with you earlier, Dante, in the live stream, of course. Other than that, you know, just had to do an errand, run to the store, that kind of stuff. Can't complain, man. Great day when you get to chill, especially live stream now. Getting a little bit lit there in the chat. Pretty fun right here. Joseph Whitby joined us. Alright guys, Mission Impossible. It is time to land on the gondola. Hopefully we can do this. A little quick save action here. Shout out to Mahoos who is in Holland. Oh hell yeah. Must be so beautiful in Holland this time of year. I wish we had, like, some sort of face cam, you know, thing where we can see all of us, like, where we're all at, just by simply clicking on it. Like, I can click on Mahoos and see where he's at. You guys can see where I'm at. I mean, it was beautiful where I'm at. Obviously, it's not cold, no snow or nothing, but different kind of beautiful where I'm at today. That's <laughs> super blind, 505. Yo, yo, yo going on. Let's find the gondola hut here. Where is it? Dun, 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 dun. You guys know about Mission Impossible? Although they still have the Mission Impossible movies. I was actually thinking about the video games because they don't make those anymore. Alright, there's the gondola. Let's wait for it to... Uh, you know what? You think maybe we should just jump on it? There we go. Save it right here. Paula Springs. Alright. Not sure if we can do this, guys. May the force be with us. Wait, did it already leave? Where'd it go? Damn it. Let's go. Let's catch this thing. Someone yelling? 
I don't know where they are. These things go up quick. Now, I've spent a lot of time in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that city. Bugs Money used to talk about that city. But they have the world's largest tram, which goes up the side of a mountain. And I used to ride that. It's pretty crazy. So, you know, I was always thinking, like, is this an Easter egg towards that? But I guess it's a different tram. Okay, we got to land on this thing. It's going pretty fast. There's still time. Here we go. We're better off when it's going down rather than up. Oh, this is going to be messy. This is going to be messy. No. Let's pause it. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Note to self. Get them going down and not up. Trippy impossible. I like that. Trippy impossible. It's got a good ring to it. Shout out to Tyson Phillips. Is that Trevor Phillips' son or something? Tyson Phillips. Beetroot. All right, so Beetroot just joining up, asking him what's happening. This is a response to Mitten's video that he made. He was looking at the, you know, the, the tram hut there on the bottom. There's a couple interesting things going on around there, including a crater. And there's going to be something strange that happens when we trippy impossible and get on to the top of the, the gondola. As you can see, it's gonna be an adventure. Hopefully we can do this. Is the gondola still here? Oh, it's still there. If we can land and jump on it, maybe. By the time I land, it's probably gonna get out of here. Go, 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 Trevor. Okay, we got time here. Oh, no. No, damn it. <laughs> All right, well, at least we know what to do now. Will Warren joining up. What's up, Will? I love all three Mission Impossible movies, says Sly Cooper. Trippy Impossible. Lupita Men Mendoza. It's, well, yes. Lupita throwing out some spoilers for some in the chat, but whatever. <laughs> Travis Roach. What's up, Travis? Face planted. <laughs> you guys like that one? Oh, man. Uh, Alright, we got this. I mean, let's face it, guys. Gonna be a little bit of failure in the live stream. <laughs> you know, we gotta pull this off. It's not easy. Mittens said that he tried it a fuck ton lot. And it took him a while. And finally, he was just, you know, kind of trying it out of the blue. And he did it on the first attempt. Shout out to Trippy Pineapple, Jordan Gren, Trippy Top Cat, Will Warren, Supa Badass. Saying his favorite basketball team won. Nice. My favorite basketball team used to be the Orlando Magic. And then they just started sucking. So... It's kind of hard to watch him, you know. You don't want to just watch a team that sucks over and over again. Alright. So when it leaves the station, we're going to try to jump onto this thing. Godspeed. Trippy Hassany joining up. Trippy Bacon saying, I got 250 going once. I'm not sure what you're talking about. I missed the beginning. Alright, here we go. Oh, yes. All right, so what you guys will notice is that the thing stops right away. Now, the problem in this case, because the cops are going to come, and really this thing does the same thing no matter where it is on the mountain. And if you're at the top of the mountain, it's just going to stop, and you're going to have two stars. And up there on the side of the mountain, the cops can't get to you. And even though the cops won't see you or anything like that, you will keep having those two stars. It'll keep resetting it. Once again, in this case, the cops might be able to get to us. I don't know if they'll figure it out. They're kind of stupid in the game here. Uh oh. Here they come, guys. 
We're not going down without a fight. You can hide in the crater. Damn. Okay, the other, the other one is there now. Uh oh, see you. What? How did that miss? Got him. So basically, when you're on the side of the mountain, this thing, you know, it'll keep basically resetting the stars, and the gondola won't go anywhere. Yeah. Five stars on the gondola hut. Starting a little forest fire. California known for having droughts, so this is a big no-no. Someone behind us? Oh, damn. Sneaky bugger. Trippy Bacon saying he's from Oregon. Nice, that's not too too far away from San Andreas. Really, a lot of the landscape is very similar. Uh-oh. Whoa! Where's it going? Wait, for some reason it moved for a second there. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. So we'll reload it and we'll see if we can pull it off. We're going to have to get it on the side of the mountain where the cops can't see us. I was messing around in single player and landed on it. I was amazed when I couldn't lose the cops even though they were nowhere near me. Yeah, that's the interesting thing. I definitely want to check that out for myself. Why do they have it to where you have stars on the gondola? Like, what's that about? It's kind of weird. But we gotta test this out. Shank Jones joining up. Have you tried using the black cell phone inside the bunker at Fort Zancudo? Yes, we definitely tried that out. Shank Jones. Unfortunately, it didn't do much of anything. That's a trip. It says Trippy Underground. The Noble Actual joining up. GTA has. Remember when GTA has six stars? Yeah. I'm pretty sure they'll return back to six stars for GTA 6. Charlie Sanchez saying, What's up? Staying on the side again, that's when it moved. Alright, we'll try it out. I mean, we're going to land back on this thing. Hopefully. Okay, so we need to get the one going down. So that one's going to be on this side. Should have plenty of time. In fact, I wonder if it kind of goes on a cycle to where that one's at the very top. Probably. Yeah. Mitten saying that it could stop because you didn't pay the fare. No free rides for you. And you get you get stars on top of it. I mean, that makes a little bit of sense. The only thing that really doesn't make sense there is the fact that it gives you two stars, you know? It's like, what's up with that? Two stars. There's the gondola. We'll save it up here. Here goes nothing. So just past the antenna tower there. Should be good timing. Nice. We got there, guys. Perfect. So as you can see, comes to a dead stop. Two stars. And this time around, guys, we are on the top of the mountain. Hey, where are you going? Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. No more gondolas. We have taken over the gondolas. <laughs> Perfect timing, too, right? We got the massive sun in the background. So, no cops can possibly get here. I mean, come on. 
Unfortunately, we can't save it because the stars aren't going to go away. Wait, will it let us? Oh, maybe it does let you. Nice. Oh, no. What does it say? Yeah, okay. It's saving it. Sweet. Haha. <laughs> Appreciate the love, guys. Charlie Sanchez. Alright, so we've saved it up here on the top of the gondola. We have shot off the other gondola. There's no possible way that anybody can get to us. It's too bad we don't have any hostages in this thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Trevor, no. Don't fall down. Can we get in the middle? Alright, because there is this thing here. But as Mitten said, you guys can notice how the stars keep resetting. Cops can't come over here. Like, what the hell? And why does it give us that amount? And on top of everything, why does it have to stop completely? Is that necessary? Can it give us a nice little joyride down to the bottom of the mountain? Instead, it freezes. So this is one of the strangest things in the game, for sure. Shout out to Omen Slayer. <laughs> yes. Killa Cobster 74. Alright, guys. Well, I mean, I guess we can maybe go to the side. You were saying that seems to be when it moves. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, whoa! No, 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 no. It's getting away. Where'd it go? How dare you? You think you could escape us? Oh boy. Okay. Gonna have to do this from this side. Come on down. Alright. <laughs> oh man. Oh boy. Coming in tight. Alright, we're going to have to wait until it passes this tower. And we'll have one more attempt to get on. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, we'll have to do it the easy way and reload. Never fun. Whoa, there's like crazy noises outside my window. It's like coyotes or something. There's a lot of coyotes that live in my area. Tato Estrada, just joining up. You missed it, Tato. Basically, we were attempting to get on top of the gondola. Not easy, but we did pull it off. And what happens is it stops in its track and then gives you two stars. So you're stuck with two stars. Shout out to Derek Booker. You will not defeat me, Darth Vader. What? I would read your comment, but... Whoa, wait a minute. This is not right. The save file did not work, guys. Ugh. Face palm. The trippy face palm. Chris Mulroy joining up. <laughs> Reload, yeah. Hide your kids, hide your wife. That's that's Fifi Fofum saying that, not me. Said, not this time, sucker. Joseph Rittenauer. Let's load this up. Don't have any coffee this evening, guys. Tonight I'm drinking cherry Pepsi. Let me know what you guys are drinking. Trippy phenomenon. Nice. Uh, Dante Stacy saying, I love how chill the community is. Definitely, definitely a chill community of ours. Let me know if you guys want me to try out anything. We have succeeded in our experiments. Showed off the crater, so from this time on, you know, it's, it's anything goes. Whatever you guys are feeling. wonder if it's... Oh, shoot, I forgot. <laughs> oh, no. All right, sharp turn, sharp. Watch out for the tree. 
couple trees. So where did the gondola go? Bastardo. Said not this time, sucker. Tyson Phillips saying James Bond. Definitely James Bond style. Trevor Bond. The newest James Bond. Pretty much is like the villains. Whoa. Okay, we're gonna miss that one. It's getting the fuck out of here. It's moving with the quickness. Okay, we still have two stars for pretty much no reason. Boogieing through the trees here. Oh boy. <laughs> we'll try one more time. It sucks because I saved over the helicopter. I didn't think it would not be there. Merry Christmas from Ohio, says Strange Anomaly. Uh, yes, I did read your tweet, Zachary. I'll definitely check into that for sure. I got it in the saved in the data files. Trippy phenomenon. Checking out the Discord. We do have the Trippy Mafia Discord, guys. I'll make sure to have a link to that in the description for sure. It's 11 where Trippy Phenomenon is. I oh, appreciate the love, Chris Mulroy. Just reloading. All right, here we go. Spin maneuver. Okay, so this time, unfortunately, so it looks like the gondola going downwards is completely MIA. So that one's nowhere to be found. We're only going to have the one chance to land this, and that's the one going up. And that's, that's not a very good chance. Appreciate the love, Will Warren. Yeah, birthday was definitely pretty cool. Can't complain. Was hoping to have a birthday live stream with you guys. Because the channel was made pretty much on my birthday as well, so kind of would have been a dual birthday. Fortunately, I've got abducted, and I couldn't do that. Here we go, guys. We're going to have to come in very hard. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> oh man. I want to do it. We'll try one more time before getting out of here. Trippy Canelo, nice. Caught you on a break from work. Hey man, I'm trying to do some extra live streams. Definitely want to make sure to, to have plenty of live events for you guys during the December where I'm sure most of you have plenty of extra time. Want to make sure to come through for you guys. Get in to be a pro, uh, pro at parachuting. Apparently not. It's hard. But I appreciate the happy belated birthday. Kill a cops to 74 saying so close. Oh, almost crashed there. Jeez. Talk about so close. Man. i have to try it one more time. We'll try it one last time, guys, and then we'll move on. Sorry about all the reloading, but at least I can give out some extra live stream shout outs. Chris Mulroy saying, I noticed the original sub is not the Kraken since the last update. Seems to have better lighting. Check it out. Nice. We'll definitely check that out. Yeah. The original submarine, just that normal sub that appears on the dock. That thing was a lot, or it is a lot slower than the Kraken. Yeah. Kind of an anniversary, for sure. Okay, we pulled it off this time. We got the black stealth parachute. Have to pick up some speed. Still have those two stars for no reason. I wonder if they're going to keep resetting, even though we're not on that. Because it seems to be doing that. Notice how they're just blinking? 
I wonder if it's on a like a an infinite glitch. That's kind of funny. That'll be cool to have that, you know, at least that save file. The infinite glitch save file. James Reynolds asking about the snow. It should snow very soon, James. Possibly tomorrow. If not tomorrow, it's got to be, you know, probably Friday or Saturday, of course. Oh, no, I missed it. Man, it's going to be too difficult. But I do want to check out this infinite glitch. We'll reload it. And I'm going to parachute down. We'll grab a vehicle and we'll see how, how this uh, infinite glitch actually works out. Should I make my name Trippy Noble? Oh, hell yeah, definitely. Trippy Army is epic, guys. Definitely epic. Kill a Cobster. Does anyone know if a Snowball mic would be good for just starting out my channel? I'm sure it would be. I mean, any... We recommend, you know, you get like a quality mic. You could always look on, you know, online for the ratings and stuff like that. So... Just make sure to get a quality mic. The hardest part, I would say, is to make sure you have a good voice. You know, that's something that it's not it's not natural to everybody. Not everybody has a good voice. Some people have a lisp. Some people have a stutter. Whatever. Everybody has an issue they have to deal with for sure. The one thing I recommend, if you did want to start your own commentary on your channel, other than just being yourself. You know, just make sure to have good terminology. Make sure to throw out some cool words out there. So that way, people just want to, you know, they, they trust what you have to say. Definitely spice up your commentary. And people will love you for it. Alright. I'll try one more time, guys. Coming in hot. Here we go. There you are, you bastard. Oh! What the hell? Oh, that was dirty. Wow. Interesting. That was kind of cool. That was pretty epic right there. <laughs> yes. Trippy Phenomenon, I ordered a Mammoth mic. Not sure what that is. I'm using a Samson mic. Samson's pretty trustworthy company for mics. Not really one of the more well-known, but definitely durable kind of mics, you know? Well-known to, uh, you know, people needing durable mics, portable mics. Reload. Yeah, we found a glitch, guys. Yes. Right through it. Let's see, I'm going to attempt to... No, it's still not working. The whole moderator thing is still not working. <laughs> James Reynolds saying, just avoid no and no clickbaiting. Yeah, man, I feel like the biggest YouTubers, you know, those are the worst clickbaiters. You know, like always, you're seeing PewDiePie and you know guys like freaking Philip DeFranco and stuff. They just constantly just they just put out all kinds of clickbaity titles. But whatever, I don't really care. If you like the people, then it really doesn't matter. For some reason, that's crazy how it's not letting me set you guys up as moderators. Not too sure why. We must fix YouTube, guys. It is broken. Chirpy Doctor, what's going on, Doc? Alright, guys. So what we're going to check out now... Appreciate all of you joining up for the chill stream. But we're going to see if we have an infinite glitch on our hands. You can see how the stars are blinking, right? Just two stars blinking over and over again. So we're going to find out if this is something that can't go away on the save file. Damn, trippy phenomenon. He joined at 33,000. Epic. Just now started to be vocal. That's kind of cool. Trippy phenomena, where are you at? You have to let us know. Where 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 are you from? Where do you reside from?
Shout out to Dan Fan. What's going on, Dan Fan? I hope you guys have some free time. You know, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to have the chill stream during a time where you guys are just hanging out at home, you know, maybe messing around with the tablet or something. Maybe even doing a playthrough. That's one of the reasons why I tell you guys to hit the notification button because you could be playing GTA 5, which is a perfect time because if we're live streaming, you know, you could play GTA 5, kick on the live stream at the same time. Don't hit us, bird. Alright, so the two stars went away, so it's not an infinite glitch. Check out the sun there, guys. Is that an eclipse? That looks pretty crazy. Do we see the moon? to come in for a land and see if we can get a better view. Whoa! That was epic. Trevor. And he's still going. Chirpy Phenomenon saying, I live in Newfoundland, Canada. Nice. Chilling in Canada, eh? Never been to Canada. Really want to go, for sure. It looks epic up there. For sure. It looks like a perfect place to go skiing. I bet you guys have some epic ski resorts. Look at this person just hanging out. Interesting. I like your spot, buddy. So where's the moon at? Because that really did look pretty crazy. We're not gonna shoot you, man. I need. I'm gonna reload that. I want to check that out one more time because that really did. You know, that looked pretty crazy right there. We got to see that again. Well, Warren, have you seen my video on shooting the cone? No, I gotta check that out. Yeah, shout out to Mittens, who's also from Canada. That's right. <laughs> Uh, Kill Acosta saying, I just turned on the notification thing like 10 minutes ago. Yes, appreciate that. Shout out to the notification squad. I know everybody else, you know, all the other channels on YouTube call it the notification squad. So, too bad we don't have a different name for it. Like, the trippy notified. <laughs> Something like that. Alright, so we're going to have to get a good vantage point for this sunset. So it's high up there right now. I'm not seeing the moon. I know we do have a full moon save file. I'm not seeing it. One thing that is pretty interesting is how there's different suns for each character. So if you switch between the three different characters, you'll notice they can each see a different sun altogether. So that's kind of crazy, for sure. You sent me a beat message on Xbox. Ugh. Oh, my messages are a little backed up, so might take a little bit before I check it out. Luis Miranda, I'm in Mexico. Nice. Luis, we were just playing Red Dead Redemption earlier. A recreated version of Mexico. So epic. We're going to need to get a really good vantage point here. There's another bridge right there. I'm going to have to look at that bridge at one. It looks like a possible spider web location. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be an eclipse. I mean, it looks pretty cool and all, but there's no sign of the moon. Sunset is amazing. That's probably, you know, such a big reason. A lot of people say see the eye is the, you know, the small circle that's in the sun here during sunset. 
I have a feeling it's just really Rockstar pointing out to everybody how the sunset is something they want everybody to see because it's so beautiful. You know, it, the sunset is a big part of California, so why should it not be a big part of San Andreas? It's pretty cloudy out there. Let's change up the weather. Whoa! Extra sunny? Damn. So there's the moon, guys. We were wondering where the moon was. Trying to get the eclipse. You can see just how close they are. So I was wondering. Not close enough. That's pretty epic, though. I mean, that is a massive sun right there. Shout out to Trippy Panda. Trippy Soul Reaper. What's up, Soul Reaper? Sneak up here a little bit, get a different view. Pretty cool spot over here. Looks like someone else has the same idea. Let's show him our magic. Hey buddy, you wanna see something cool? Watch this. Oh, I didn't mean to punch you out. I was just trying to change the weather, but whatever. Hopefully you saw it. Okay, the cloudy kind of takes it away altogether. Oh no. Sorry, dog. I'm not being to do this. I'm just putting in the code. <laughs> Oops. Sun goes away altogether. Whoa, did you see that? Damn, we gotta do that again. That was crazy, guys. Okay, watch out for it after we after we go from thundery to clear, it's gonna kind of almost make up a laser or something. No, it went away. Oh man, that's crazy looking. Going from sunny. Unfortunately, the sun is completely gone now. Oh well. Let's follow the trail up here. What were these guys looking at? This is an interesting spot. Uh, trippy phenomenon saying gotta love them German girls good memory trippy phenomenon good memory indeed so we got some birds up here it's a pretty cool spot diving spot oh <laughs> what we couldn't survive that Trevor that was crazy. I guess we'll try to check that out again. We might as well. I mean, that was pretty cool. Have you seen Dib's new video about the eye in the sky? A literal eye shape from the sun rising. Yeah, I did see his video. That is definitely crazy. I need to try to recreate that in my file. I've been trying to do all these different things with the sun and the moon. And I can't form some of this stuff, you know? You can see just how close I am, guys. Oh, no. I don't want to replay the mission. By the way, guys, I'm going to have a special live stream coming up. It's going to be the Halothon. So I'm going to be, I'll marathon play Harathon, or marathon play Halo. So it's going to be a Halothon. And yeah, it should be epic. I hope you guys can tune in for that. Definitely try to uh, support me and join up as we play through all five Halos. Massive Halothon. That's going to be crazy. Trippy Top Cat showing love to Czech Republican girls. Yeah, I know what you're talking about, Trippy Top Cat. I know what you're talking about. Alright, so this time I want to go a little bit faster. I need to find a good spot. Are we two? I don't think we can make it to the altruist camp. little bit too high of an elevation for us to make it to. Southern girls are where it's at. Oh man. I 
think that's one of the reasons why I need to do face cam, if you guys think about it. Might be, you know, it <laughs> might be a new way to find girls. <laughs> should probably just go to the same spot we were at there. Let's try to hurry up over there. We still have those stars. This time the cops probably saw us. Oh, no, not in the tree. Don't want to end up like Dom. Okay, almost there, guys. Might have to run the rest of the way. Run, Trevor. Appreciate the love, Jordan Grin. Thanks again for all of you guys joining up for the live stream. Chilling here in GTA 5. I hope all you guys are having a good December. So what I wanted to do was try to put in the cheat codes again to see the reaction from the sun. That was kind of cool. It almost made up like a, a laser. Okay, this guy is still here. Listen, I just walked by this dude. He was a total... Oh. Alright, I'm going to try not to kill him this time. Did you see that? Once again, you can see just how close the moon and the sun are. No, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, he's going to be pissed. He's going to be really pissed. I'm not meaning to, I swear. Alright, guys, so... Once it goes from thundery to clear, that's when we're going to want to check it out. Here it is. Didn't do it that time. Hmm. Might have just been somewhat of a glitch that we found. There we go. Yeah, you can see it kind of pulsates from changing. Snowy. Alright, so this time I'm going to put on Trevor's ability while we do it. Are you assholes hiding? No, it doesn't really change anything, unfortunately. It puts it so you're right in front of the sun. Alright, kind of cool. Let's reload, guys. I'm going to load it up to a different save file altogether. It's kind of cool messing with that one, though. I am Stella Virgin. <laughs> What's going on, Stella? Talking about some Rogue One. It's so weird that I can't set anybody up for... Uh, I will donate... A thousand dollars to the owner of Trivi Commentaries channel if you find the jetpack this year. Wow. Majestic. I'll take you up on that. I'm gonna try to find it. I mean I've been trying, but now I'm I'm devoted. I'm gonna try even harder. Thousand dollars. Reezer Electro asking us to check out his new video. We'll check that out, Rezo, maybe, if I remember. Hit me up on Twitter and remind me and I will. Alright guys, so let me know if you have any requests of you, what you want us to check out here in the live stream. Here we are at Fort Zancudo. A couple things always worth checking out there, of course, but not in this episode. We'll move on. Special shout out to Legendary Mike. Really appreciate you joining up. Mike, I hope you're doing good. Severe Gaming. Oh, hell yeah. Dante Stacy, who's hanging out with us in the Red Dead Redemption playthrough earlier. We have a year-long celebration in Red Dead Redemption as we await Red Dead Redemption 2. So here at the channel, we are 100%ing Red Dead Redemption all on a live stream. So if you guys want to check that out, you have the entire series on the main trivia commentaries page. You can watch the live stream episodes. We just completed episode 7, so... 
you'll want to watch out for Episode 8. Especially if you haven't played through Red Dead Redemption yet. It's pretty trippy. I mean, you should have seen the missions we were doing earlier. They were crazy. I'm definitely doing good. Cannot complain too much. Got some Christmas craziness going on this weekend. Saturday, Sunday, taken up by Christmas in Christmas Eve. For those of you watching after the live stream, yeah, we're, we're recording this right before Christmas. So it's starting to get a little bit crazy. Back to Los Santos, guys. Oh, yeah. The city looks so epic. We were talking the other day about how it's strange how so many of the pools are empty. You have a lot of empty pools and then, of course, a lot full. But it's not. you think they would all be full here in California, right? There's another maze bank. has a helipad as well. Ah yes, the movie theater. It's crazy how they have this gigantic wall around the theater. There's a lot of really strange sound effects that play here. You can tell, you know, how they build these massive sets. A lot of time and effort must go into them. Of course, this is just a video game, but it makes me think about the real Hollywood. And notice how these doors, they look a little bit similar to the hangar doors in for Zancudo. And we have that one hangar, the giant hangar, that's opened in GTA Online. So it's almost like these huge hangars have that same look to where they can open up or Rockstar intended them to open. I mean, check this out, right? Set. And notice how there's a color variation here, how it changes up. Doesn't that kind of look like it's meant to open and inside there would be a set? If you guys have played GTA Vice City, those did open up. They have open sets. One was a porn studio. One was a fake moon landing. They had all that stuff. Nice. Ida's Let's Play just joined up. Hey, if you didn't know I was streaming, you must not have the notification activated, so hit the bell button. That is how you become a true subscriber to Trippy Commentaries. So some of these have the red things that are going. I wonder if that means they're currently recording. Are they recording in Studio 17? Let's move on, guys. Agent 76 joining up. Go check out the Observatory Tunnel the disappearing signs on either end of the tunnel. Really? Alright. We have a request. Thanks, Saijin. Appreciate the request and the comment. Definitely means a lot. Trippy commentaries is nothing without you guys. Really appreciate each and every one of you guys. So we are heading to the observatory tunnel. There's actually a few things I did want to check out at the observatory tunnel. I just want to give a quick shout out to all of the members of the Chiliad Mystery community, you know, whether you just tweet out stuff on, you know, on Twitter, maybe you're putting up videos yourself, just anybody who's helping out the cause, it's greatly appreciated, trust me. There's the observatory guys. This observatory tunnel, for those of you who don't know, has been used in many movies, including The Rocketeer, Back to the Future, The Page Master, is known as kind of a legendary location in real life, and it is represented in Grand Theft Auto V. Going for a landing here. Go ahead and grab this guy's car. Not bad looking car. <laughs> Luis. 
talking about the sea monster. All right, so talking about disappearing signs. I don't see any signs as of right now. We do have the power control boxes here. Checking things out here. Nothing abnormal as of yet. I don't see... Whoa. Jeez, that kind of scared me at first. I was like, what the hell? Are they coming for us? What do we do? Okay. We got the dark box right there. Kind of strange. Looks a little bit darker than usual. This tunnel does have a strange look to it. Alright. Just park our car right there. So I'm not seeing any signs at all. Maybe it's in GTA Online. Mysterious Animator X. What's going on? They do have the camera on top. Is it pointing at something weird? It looks like it's just pointing in this direction. Oh, nice. An Infernus. Come back. I want your car. Oh, well. We'll get the next one. Hmm. Not seen anything too special about the tunnel. I mean, I've looked here a bunch of times. Not really seen anything that stands out, guys. What the hell? Hey, David. You are in... What? What? I don't know, it's, it's, I think YouTube, the, the live stream is, first it doesn't let me edit out the beginning and end of the live stream for you guys, and now it's not even letting me, like, mod, set people up as mod and stuff and delete messages, oh well. Nice car, totally gonna take that, so yeah guys, I don't really see too much going on here with the tunnel like I mentioned I mean it's been shown off in different movies and it's really one of the most you know epic places in Los Angeles but I'm not seeing too much to it there is something though I believe Come back here. There is something hidden. Let's see if we can find it. Man, it's raining out, so it's hard to kind of notice landmarks and stuff. Aha! What is this, guys? What do we find? So, this is right next to the tunnel. It's an interesting location for a peyote plant. Wow, greatly appreciate that, Ida's Let's Plays. That's really amazing. That's freaking awesome. That's unbelievable. It'll definitely go a long way. Alright, so we've turned into a pig. Great. We're going to travel through the tunnel with the pig. Fuck, man. I'm a pig? For real. This shit is fucking weird. Here we go. 88 miles per hour. Through the tunnel. Full speed ahead, pig. Go, go, go. Imagine if we traveled through time. That would be... We would all just... We would go into shock. Right? Like, what the hell? It worked. Well, one thing we can do, guys... We can take the pig to the observatory. Let's try it out. <laughs> Why not, right? Alright, let's see here. <laughs> so where do you go with this pig, says Illuminati seeing eye. Is there a location you must go with the pig? I don't know. Hey, let's go up to the observatory with the pig. I don't know. Okay, I see. 
it's completely glitched out. I see what it's doing. Alright. Which way? Whoa! Don't run us over here. Which way to the observatory? There it is. You know people see us and they think Trippy Bacon. They run us over, all they have to do is stick us in their trunk, head back to their house, and they have a whole Christmas ham ready to go. Climbing up the ridge here though guys, we'll head up to the observatory. Here we are. Probably nothing going on because we got the rain right now. Some people have speculated that this third and fourth light can turn on just like the second light. So you know, maybe this whole place, because if you think about it, other than the hidden sniper here, not a whole lot to the observatory when you think that there would be more hidden content hidden away at this location there's a couple missions that start here but other than that not a whole lot happens here so you know it kind of makes me think that maybe there's supposed to be more here <laughs> I've never explored it with the pig though I gotta say Alright, I want to head down to the bottom. Here we go. We got the Penders building over there. There's nobody around though. What the hell's that about? I don't know guys, not seen anything here at the observatory. Definitely appreciate the recommendations though. All right, how do we turn back? There we go. Hit the right button. Nothing going on as the pig. Let's go ahead and reload it here to numero tres. Thanks again for joining up for the live stream, guys. Once again, greatly appreciate Mittens. To start off the episode, we looked at a crater, and then we also showed off for the first time here at the channel a really interesting... I don't know if it's a glitch or something weird that happens when you land on the gondola. If you guys missed the beginning, definitely check out the stream. Hit the like button if you haven't already as well. And also hit the notification button so that way it lets you know when we are going live next time. I'll have a few more live streams planned that are huge Grand Theft Auto 5 live streams. In fact, they're already in the works. I had to back up one of them so that will be coming out either tomorrow or the next day. I'll let you guys know. And also... We're going to have that Halo-thon here in December where I'm going to be playing through the five Halo games live. So I definitely would appreciate if you guys can join up to help me out with that. Root me on. That's going to be pretty pretty insane, to say the least, for sure. So shout out to Illuminati Seeing Eye, Trippy Phenomenon. Really appreciate your comments. A little bit hyper, but hey, what can you say? Aijin76, greatly appreciate your comments as well. Trippy Raphael. All of you guys, thank you so much for the chill stream. We're going to have more live streams. And like I said, this is more of a chill stream showing off some, some crazy things. But the streams coming up are going to be truly epic. I promise you that. So definitely stay tuned here at the channel. And also try to join up for our Red Dead Redemption live stream as well. Because here at Trippy Commentaries, we are in a year-long celebration awaiting Red Dead Redemption 2. Thanks again, guys. Stay tuned here at Trippy Commentaries. More importantly, as always, make sure to stay trippy, my friends.
fuck. Oh, my God. 